Hello everybody! It's great to see you. Benjamin and I have been so excited about joining you today on the road to Bethlehem on our, oh, how many days have we had? We've had 18 already, haven't we? And this is the next one. And we're getting closer and closer by the day. How many sleeps have we got left at Christmas, Benjamin? Six sleeps till Christmas Day and five sleeps till Christmas Eve. My big girl Evie counts down till Christmas Eve because that's her favourite. <laughs> so I wonder what you've been up to today. We've been Christmas shopping again, haven't we, Benjamin? And my son Theo, he wanted to get a Santa hat, so he's very festive now. Oh, and now it's feeling all grizzly and and rainy outside and it looks dark and I wouldn't like to be living outside in that weather, would you, Benjamin? Well, he says that bears do live outside, but they like to shelter in the woods, don't they? He says, yes, that keeps them nice and dry. Just imagine if you were out on the fields, on the moors, like those sheep in Jenny's picture. Oh, they were lovely sheep, but it did look cold and grey and foggy, didn't it? Out there on the hills with those sheep. Just imagine being a shepherd, having to be out there with the sheep on a night like this. Oh, it makes me chilly just to think about it. <laughs> well, Benjamin... I think it's time to have a look behind the big red door, don't you? Because I think it's going to be something exciting today and I can't wait to see what it is. Well, little lamb wanted to say hello too because she was very excited to see her brother and sister sheep on the opening picture by Jenny and she was very excited to see what might be behind the advent door. Look, here it is, the big red door. And we have yet another number there, don't we? I wonder if you know what comes after number 18. I think it might be this number here. Look, it's got a one. And what's this one? A nine, that's right. So what does that make then? Yes, it's 19, because it's the 19th of December and the 19th day of our journey along the little road to Bethlehem following the star. And it's been such a special journey already, hasn't it? Hasn't it, little lamb? I think she'd like to go and have a rest. She gets a bit tired very easily. Oh, Benjamin, it's you and me for the door. <laughs> Now then, I wonder what there is. Let's have a look. <gasps> oh, I tell you what, it's a good job little lamb's gone away. Look! <gasps> What's that? Can you tell what that is, boys and girls? Shall we take it off and have a proper look? There we go. Now then. Here it is. What do we think that might be, Benjamin? Well, he says it's definitely an animal. I think we can agree on that, can't we? And he says it has one, two, three, four legs and a bushy tail and a cold black nose. Well, what do you think that is, Benjamin? He says it looks quite a lot like the dog that we had earlier on in our stories, but something's a little bit different. He says he thinks it looks bigger for starters. He says he thinks it looks a little bit fierce too. <gasps> Goodness me! And he says that the eye colour is not the same as a dog's. What colour is a dog's eye, Benjamin? Well, he says they're usually brown or black, dark coloured, or sometimes they're blue, but not usually yellow. Well, this one's got a yellow eye, look. I wonder why that is. Hmm, what could it be? 
Benjamin says he thinks we might find that it's a wolf. A wolf. Goodness. Wolves get a bit of a bad reputation, don't they? That there was a wolf in, 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 in Little Red Riding Hood and that wasn't a very nice wolf, was it? And I wonder if this is going to be a nice wolf. Perhaps we should have a look in our story. Let's have a look now, shall we? Here we are on our dark rainy night with the sheep on the hillside in the fog and we're following the star along the little road to Bethlehem and we're going to look at our story but as we go on our journey all of these are the friends are with us they're all with us at least in our hearts aren't they and they were all on the journey to Bethlehem when we met them what have we had We've had, well, we had a giant, didn't we? Oh, we had an eagle. We've had a man who couldn't see. He's falling over. We've had an angel and a robber. And we've had a well that Benjamin drank his fill from. We've had a dog with a poorly paw that Benjamin mended. Sparkling jewel. We've had Father Christmas, St Nicholas, and a beautiful rose bush growing in the snow. We've had a crown and a little lamb who's still with us on the journey. We had a juicy pear and an ant and a walking cane that Benjamin gave to that man yesterday who couldn't walk, didn't he? And what else? Oh, no, it wasn't yesterday. Yesterday was the rabbit, the hare, the bird and the squirrel, wasn't it? And what else have we had? Oh, the gentleman who had nothing who needed us to share with him. What a lot we've seen and learned on our journey. Oh, and we still have more to go, don't we? Let's read today's Advent Storybook. 24 stories to share before Christmas. Are we ready, Benjamin? <gasps> now, this one is indeed called The Wolves. <gasps> On December 19th, Benjamin Bear opened the next door and uncovered Wolves. There they are. They do look like dogs, but they do look big, don't they? With their yellow eyes that help them see when it's dark. And one of them even looks like it's howling, doesn't it? This one here, because wolves do howl, don't they? Well, I'm glad little lamb went away. It was night time and very quiet. The little bear and the lamb saw a campfire in the distance. There it is, look, there's the campfire, all shining brightly. As they approached, they saw shepherds sitting around the fire, warming themselves. Oh, how funny, we've just been talking about shepherds. In the distance, they heard the howling of wolves. The shepherds shivered with fear. What are you doing here on such a cold night? asked one of the shepherds. We are following the star, replied the little bear. Look, there it is. 
What for? asked the shepherd with a laugh. But then the shepherds suddenly saw their sheep stand up and stare at the heavens. A great light spread across the sky. There's the star, whispered the little bear. As if led by an invisible shepherd, the sheep set out on the path. There they go, look. The wolves moved with them and did not harm them. And filled with wonder, the lamb, the little bear and the shepherds hurried behind them all. <gasps> Let's look again, shall we? We have the wolves. We have the star leading the way. We have the little bear with his rose bush and the lamb by the campfire. And look, here's a shepherd and a shepherd boy carrying the little lamb. And there are all the sheep. All the sheep and they're setting off on their own. They don't need a shepherd to follow. They know where they're going. They're following the star. Do you think they're all going to Bethlehem, Benjamin? How amazing, said Benjamin. The wolves didn't harm them. Yes, said Mother Bear. God's love can turn enemies into friends. Oh, isn't that a lovely message? Wasn't that amazing, Benjamin? The wolves came and normally the wolves would chase the sheep and they would hurt them. They might even eat them for dinner, but they didn't, did they? They didn't harm anything of them or the shepherds. And they all set off together on the way to Bethlehem. Now that makes me think sometimes, sometimes we call Jesus the Good Shepherd. And they were going to Bethlehem to find the Jesus child, weren't they? It's almost like they were following the shepherd, the shepherd that's Jesus, to get to Bethlehem, isn't it? Ah, and because they were all following Jesus, even though they had been enemies, they began to love one another, didn't they? They loved one another and they lived in harmony and they were good to one another. All of them. Isn't that beautiful, Benjamin? What God's love can do if we let God's love live in our heart. How much like him we can be, even loving our enemies. Which is a very hard thing to do, isn't it? But it does feel good when our heart is so big and open and kind, doesn't it? Wow, Benjamin, such an exciting day. And look, I have my shepherd here from my nativity crib scene. One of them, look, the shepherd has got a crook and he's got a little lamb and he's waiting for Christmas Eve when he can go out with all the others around the crib. I hope you've got yours ready. Well, Benjamin, I think that's it for today, don't you? Another exciting day and I cannot wait to see who we'll meet tomorrow. Do come back and join us, won't you? It's because it's not the same without you. Bye for now. Yeah.